So day 17, um, you know, I've been enjoying doing all this sort of stuff and there's a lot of things and a lot of information to unpack. And in the last few days, I've been having conversations with different people and it's a funny uh, reaction that I see um, whenever we talk about our fees, for example, right? And the reaction can go one of two ways. One, we've done a really good um, job at explaining the value that we offer so that when people see how much we charge, they go, oh, I get it. I can see by spending that amount of money that it can help our business in these ways. Then there's the other side of it that is, um, and this is actually the more common side, where they'll go, yeah, that's a lot of money. It's going to cost me a lot. And I've got to ask, why and where does this come from? Why is technology seen as a cost, an expense, or a liability? And it really comes back to where um, the first computers were adopted. And the first computers were adopted usually by finances um, or in accounting team, banks, and all that sort of stuff, where they're dealing with lots of numbers and finance, and, and they're looking for a really good return on investment. If I'm spending a million dollars on something, well, I want to get something back from that. But over time, how it sort of evolved is that it's still reporting through to your uh, CFO, your chief um, financier, or or whatever um, the head of accounting within your organization, the money people, right? And so what that would happen is to manage where they were spending money, they would create this concept known as a cost center. Each department, each group would have different cost centers. Now in large enterprise, what would happen is you've got your IT service department that would have a certain budget. And to justify our existence, we had to charge on all the services that we were delivering, all the, the storage we were providing, email services and everything else, onto the other business units because they needed to consume that stuff so that we could get to a position where we were net positive. We were collecting more money, funny money it might be, from other cost centers to pay for the services we were delivered, delivering. So it became a very cost-centric conversation. That's going to cost you X amount of dollars. That's going to cost you this. So we we're billing internally to all these different people. Now, that concept and that mentality has stuck around and it's even um, evolved into smaller businesses, right? Especially in the early days, you would see that um, buying all this technology stuff was considered an expense. So we're already thinking about it as being a liability. It's a cost. It's an expense. And anytime you're thinking of something in that manner, what do you want to do with it? You want to get rid of it. You want to reduce it. You want to reduce how much money you're spending. You're complaining about your costs because you're paying all this money. And the real re issue is, is you're not seeing the value, right? It's not helping you generate money. But the very point of thinking of it as a cost actually clouds your judgment and your vision of actually seeing where the value are. You're not even thinking about it in that space. So what we need to do is change the conversation. We need to start thinking about it as an investment. How can spending this money add value? How can it save time? How can it grow my business? How can it deliver more to my clients with less effort? Right? So when we start thinking about things as an investment, it changes the way we think about it. We start thinking about uh, why we're doing this. How is it going to help? We look for different justifications of spending that sort of money. So if you were asked to spend $1,000 on something and there was a proven pathway to help you generate $10,000 out of that particular investment, you'd do it, wouldn't you, right? especially if the risks were really low. That's the point I'm trying to make here, is that when you, you look for those opportunities. So next time you're engaging a um, technology provider or, um, or support or service organization or anything like that, don't think of it as a cost. Yes, it's going to cost you money. Everything is going to cost you something. It's either money or time, right? 
Think about it as an investment conversation. By me expending this energy, expending this amount of money that's going to impact my overall profitability of my business, how is that going to help grow my revenue? How is this going to help streamline my operations? How is this going to add value to my business? You're looking at growth, at value added. This is the conversations we need to be having. And the other thing you've got to think about, what would happen if I didn't have that service or I didn't have that piece of technology? How much is that costing me by not having it, by not having that cybersecurity suite, that backup solution, that tech support that can fix things to get your business operational quickly? And in those cases, in those three examples, for, um, each one of those, the impact could be costing you tens of thousands of dollars of lost productivity, time, business reputation, and a variety of other, other things that negatively impact your business. So don't look at um, your technology spend as a pure cost. Think of it as an investment and what it can do for your business.